Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. My name is Neeraj Chaudhary and today we will deep dive into advanced features of AWS Party Rock like AI model parameter tuning, apps playlist, taking snapshot of the apps that you have created in AWS Party Rock and by understanding how to track your AWS Party Rock account credit usage. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So guys, the agenda for today's tutorial is as follows. First, we are going to understand what is model parameter tuning. In our last session, we saw all the models and I also showed that which models are going to support fine tuning and which are not. So over here, we are going to actually check it by changing the parameters. But before that, I will help you understand uh, with some examples that what is uh, parameter tuning. Then we will move ahead and understand what is AWS Party Rock playlist, how your apps are getting added as part of Party Rock. Then we will go ahead and see how you can export the apps that you have created in Party Rock into a Word file or into a snapshot. Then I will help you understand whatever uh, things you create onto Party Rock or whatever operations you are performing based on that, how your credits are getting utilized and how you can see it over there and how frequently your credits are getting renewed by AWS Party Rock, allowing you to uh, create more apps onto AWS. Last but not the least, I will show you the roadmap that uh, how different AI models are been released as AWS in, in, in AWS Party Rock. So you can see over there what is the models which has been released, what is the features which has been released, what are the features which, which has been requested, what are the features which are in pipeline. So these all things helps you understand that what is the roadmap of this specific uh, Gen AI powered app generator that is AWS Party Rock. So let's start by talking about what is model parameter tuning. So model parameter tuning means changing certain settings in the model to make it perform better or behave the way you want. So by tweaking parameters like temperature and top P, what are this? So if I take you to my new party rock app, okay. So if I click on this, so, uh, I can change this. So once you change this, your results will also change. So this is the place, uh, this is the parameters that they have defined. So if you click on this, see it says increasing the parameters in this section will increase the randomness of the LLM's responses means it will allow the LLM to imagine by its own way based on the data it is trained on, or it might also hallucinate. So you are giving it freedom saying that, okay, I'm giving you freedom to perform this kind of hallucination or this kind of imagination. So resulting in more creative and imaginative text. Okay. And suppose if I say, uh, I want to uh, write a email to my professor asking for a leave. It is going to give me a two, three lines email. Okay. But it is not uh, creating any scenario based on the text that I have provided or making it detailed. So I can tweak this parameter so it gives me a better response based on the prompt that I'm giving to it. So this is known as, this is one is temperature and the next one is top P. So unlike fine tuned parameters, tuning parameter doesn't require retraining. So usually uh, people think that Oh, if we are uh, tuning the parameters, that means we are fine tuning the entire model. No, we are not fine tuning the entire model. We are just going to tune the parameters and just, uh, we are going to ad adjust that so that it generates new answers for us that we are looking for. So let's see both of them one by one. So the first one is parameter is uh, fine tuning is temperature. So imagine you have a box of crayons on the left side. This is a box of crayons. Okay. So imagine if you have a box of crayons, if the temperature is high, you get to pick from a lot of different colors. So the picture can look wild and creative. And if it's low, you can stick to just few colors. So over here, the temperature is low. So you have limited colors that has been shown over here. But over here, the temperature is high. As the temperature is high, we provided him opportunity to be more creative, right? Uh, be more random. So this is how there's a difference. Over here, the creativity reflects, and over here, the creativity is not as much as this one. So that is how we can tune your parameters to get better output. Let's take another example of top P. So this is like picking words from a big list. So if top P is high, you can pick more words, making your answer more fun and different. So for example, if you have given uh, 10 words of prompt, so 
you are telling uh, usually sometimes it creates an output based on the four words that is the four tokens uh, which makes sense to him or five tokens not 10 out of 10 but what you are saying is to him explicitly pick less more or all the tokens and then and the only then come to a conclusion so making your answer more fun and different if it's low you can only pick from a small list so the answer is more predictable so to make answer predictive and unpredictable this fine tuning can be done so this is example over here so with low uh, you can see this output and with high you can see this output now what if we combine both of them it results into more randomness that's what uh, they are talking about in that specific page that i showed you so when you make both temperature and top be higher the answers get more surprising more creative like drawing a picture with lots of bright and weird colors so over here you can see uh, the picture is being generated which is having a lot of bright colors as well as these are some weird colors also you have given it leverage to do more creative stuff okay so usually uh, if you are not making it random it will just create a colored one or it will just create a black and white one but right now it is creating a black and white one colored one and different different patterns are also been included as part of that image so that is how parameter fine tuning works let's go ahead and understand our next part which is aws party lock playlist so party lock playlist is nothing it is all your public apps in one place let's jump to the console i am in home right now and over here if i uh, click on playlist you can see this is my playlist that is this is my name that is the login name and right now it is just showing one app now you will be wondering that why it is showing one app let me show you so see this is the one app it is saying tailored social content and once you come over here if you have multiple ones if you click on them on the right hand side you also have display over here and you won't believe uh, once you click on that it will take you in that specific uh, app that is over there now coming back to the questions why it is just showing one app when i go to home it says that dirj has created 1 2 3 4 5 6 six apps over here then why one if you see most of the apps that i have created if i click on apps uh in this all are private there is only one public and that public uh, app is going and getting added in my playlist and it shows me over here when i click on playlist this is the one so that is one thing how it gets reflected now discovering playlist so these are some of the playlist which are available for you to explore so this uh, discover playlist is uh, provided by the party rock team that is at the rate party rock when you see by at the rate party rock that means it has been featured by them so they had hosted one hackathon over here these are the three different apps which are there so if you hover on that it will show you the interface how it looks see so this is uh, one of uh, them then if i go back to the playlist again so you can see the trending three apps so these are the apps which are trending from digital guide then text free writer chat rpg so these are been created by a few people uh, which are available in public and these are the trending ones which are been most used then then again uh, these are the one which are all generated by the party rock uh, party rock team and victoria who is again from aws so these are the different different apps that has been created so that is how you can use the playlist functionality over here now let's see what's next next archiving and exporting our applications so let me jump back into my apps one i go go in my app i am going to go to this one the public one i'm going to click on it and when i go over here so you can see i can click on this and it says that export as word file so you can archive your file as a word document as well as what you can do is you can also share it via the link to somebody once it is public or you can do a snapshot of your application or uh, yeah app that you have generated and once you do a snapshot your snapshots will be available over here so right now you can see that there is one snapshot which was uh, which is made available by me and this is the snapshot of the app that i had created previously so this is how you can generate your snapshot let me go ahead and generate one more for you right away when i click on snapshot just click over here and it says see created just now so your snapshot has been generated okay now if i want to share it if i click over here automatically it will copy a link 
I will go ahead and put this link and it will directly open the app for me. Right now, maybe it is asking for authentication. So let's authenticate. And it takes me to the application directly. So that is how you can share it. And if I want to go ahead, let me just put it down and export as Word. So it has been exported as Word file too. Let me show you how that word file looks. It's taking some time. So this is the word file guys. So over here, it is the heading. These are the data. That is the field names that is being generated over there. And as part of that, what we have added as prompts, those are also being added over there. So these are, this is how you can export. In a word file, you can take a snapshot. Let's see what's next. So next is understanding creative usage. So to understand your creative usage, what you have to do is, let me go back to here. So once you're on the home page, to understand the creative usage, you have to click on backstage. So when you click on backstage, this is how your credit usage is being displayed. So it says my credit, my party of credit used is 0.6%. The more app you create, the more uh, it will be consumed. And, I, and uh, it updates monthly nowadays. And you can also, yeah, it is updated monthly. That is how you can check the usage of your credits in party app. Now, last but not the least, this is very important, guys, and I will explain you this in details. Go to roadmap over here. On the right hand side, these are all the released things. So, if you are really passionate about using party app, just see they have actually added everything over here. If I go and release, Recently, Amazon announced uh, this, uh, declared this foundational model that is Amazon Nova. If I click on learn more, see, they have given the details about everything, what has been added and what it is capable of also. It has added over here. Same is for Mistral AI. So when Mistral AI, uh, these two uh, models were added, it gives information about them also that these two models are being added. They have explicitly mentioned small 24.02 and large 24.07. And view so increased character limit to 800k. If you click on this, see it says that uh, previously the character limit for the documents that you upload was less. Now they have increased it. So this is the announcement that you can understand by uh, clicking on learn more. And this is the coming up features. So if you click on this, what they are doing is imagine having a personal prompt coach to help you create the perfect app. He will assist you in writing. So there is maybe some assistance while you're writing the prompt, uh, it might try to autocomplete or it might uh, give you a better prompt that can be generated based on the idea that you have. Like we have an idea of a magic prompt. So allow widgets to be optional. So it says that currently you can use at the rate and a widget name in any widget prompt to reference, but it wants it to be optional. So widget can be optional also, like over or something in that condition. Now exploring. So these are the ones which are in progress. So over here, if you click on this, work with data, what does it mean? You don't understand, right? Click on learn more. It says that imagine you have a big spreadsheet with lots of data. You don't know all the right formulas and shortcuts to analyze it. With this feature, you can import your spreadsheets into party log and ask question about the data. So this is uh, really going to help us guys in our upcoming course that is on machine learning. And I'm going to utilize this. That is one of the reason I am teaching you Amazon Party Rock. This is a free resource, and we are going to make one app for ourselves, which is going to do the analysis for us. Very soon, I will be releasing it. So, add knowledge base. So, it is uh, asking them to add some knowledge base. That means uh, some uh, knowledge base articles, which can help us to perform some activities. Over widgets. So, these are all the ideas. See, talk to Party Rock. You talk, and it will generate the app. So many features people have demanded and if you like any of them, you can just go ahead and click on this and it will be voted for you. I have, see, let me go ahead. I have voted for this because we need this. So based on the votes, they uh, take it into consideration and they release it. So that's the last advanced features that we wanted to go through. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you get started with testing your prompt engineering knowledge that you acquired from my last tutorial now by developing an AI powered app using AWS PartyDoc.
If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a comment below. If you have any questions, I will try my level best to answer all of your queries. And of course, subscribe for more tips and tricks regarding this prompt engineering course that we are doing. So happy prompting and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.